I'm making this video today because I'm seeing too many students not using the mouse or not using the mouse in an efficient way despite some other videos that I had um, in the playlist. So over here on the left is just you know kind of a cheat sheet but I'm going to be demonstrating how to do it over here. So essentially you don't use the trackpad it's really not efficient you end up having to keep going down here to pick orbit or zoom and that's just a waste of time when you could be doing it all just with your mouse. So the first thing is and this is what most students can pick up on pretty quickly is that the zoom function you can do with your scroll wheel but it also depends on what your cursor is on what it's going to zoom into so like that's where I'm zooming into because my cursor was there if I moved my cursor over here and moved my scroll wheel I'd be zooming into a different area so pay attention to where your um, cursor is when you start the zooming process. Okay, so now let's say you ended up like this and you really wanted to scoot this over to the left. Um, what you could do is hold down the shift key while clicking on the scroll wheel. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll the wheel, I'm just gonna click down onto it while holding the shift key. So shift, click the wheel, and see how the icon just changed? And now I can drag it over. Okay, so to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. You can also go down, up, etc. So again, that's holding the shift key while clicking down on the scroll wheel and just moving the mouse. So the mouse is moving left, right, up, down. Um, now if I did that same thing without holding down the shift key, that's what I could use to rotate myself around. So I'm clicking the scroll wheel and moving the mouse. I'm not rolling the scroll wheel. I'm just clicking down on that middle button and rotating around. Okay, so if you get the hang of this, and I recommend spending some time just practicing your mouse movements, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. In moving around. Another thing I want to say that sometimes happens with students is if you get yourself in some weird position where you're like inside of something but you can't seem to get your way out of it, okay, like this, um, or if you're so zoomed out you can't even find your project anymore, what you can do is go down here and choose Zoom Extends. It's the magnifying glass with all the arrows and it kind of zooms you back out to view your whole project.